Quantum silence, quantum silence. Quick message. Hey man, listen here. Don't let your emotions run your life. Don't let your emotions dictate when to move, when to stop, when to go. Don't let your emotions do it to you because your emotions are not how things are. Your emotions are how you are. And you may be fucked up. Bottom line, I know it hurt, but somehow, way or another, you are exactly where you need to be, supposed to be. More importantly, you are right where you deserve to be until you can figure it out. Because your emotions have led you to this point. It's either you have let them rule you or you have let them school you. And I'm speaking this to myself just like I'm talking to you. You know it's time to move on. You know it's time to go. But I don't know. Pride has 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 perverted your mind. Ooh. And you stubborn. You're gonna make it work regardless. Rain, sneeze, snow. Jimbalabalo, it's not time to go until I say so. Ah, oh, well, you know, <laughs> shit happens, bro. And the truth of the matter is, sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. But how many times do you have to learn the hard way? Only you really know if you're letting your emotions rule you. You could be missing out on that perfect opportunity. You could be too comfortable. And you have settled into your comfort zone. Now, now, now mind you, your comfort zone ain't really doing nothing for you. You're just comfortable being a nothing. You're comfortable making do with scraps. You're scared of the big opportunity. So you done nestled down in a warm pile of shit and it's cold outside and you comfortable. Mind you, you so comfortable you forgot you was in a warm pile of shit. A and done got so used to the stench, you rocking it like it's cologne. Bruh, it's time to move on and trust me, and check this out. When you go into your cocoon, some ugly shit going on inside that cocoon, bro. But just like the science of a butterfly, when the caterpillar, when the caterpillar crawls into his cocoon, a metamorphosis is taking place. A a divine transformation between life and death. His old self is dying and giving birth to his new self. He once was a crawler. He crawled real slow from here to there, barely making it, crawling. But one day, he formed a cocoon and shit got real. When he broke free from the cocoon, this nigga had wings. He was pretty, he was flying. He was now a sight for sore eyes. But without the cocoon phase of the uncomfortableness, the transformation, the ugly shit, the butterfly was never born. Suck it up. Suck it up, man. Be resilient, be persistent, be consistent.
Be dedicated, be disciplined, and be devoted to the power of change. The power of change, man. I'm trying to tell you, you got to be uncomfortable. You got to be uncomfortable, man. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because the truth of the matter is, until you can get comfortable with being uncomfortable, things won't ever change. <laughs> That's just the bottom line, man. Things, you, shit will never change for you until you cross that line and say, you know what, fuck it. I gotta risk it all. But it ain't really much you risking, I mean, but because mind you, you done got comfortable with, in shit. And shit changing and, and you scared. To, you got to be able to do whatever it, you got to be willing to do whatever it takes to get to where you going. Whatever it takes, I'm ready. It sound easy, you know what I mean? It really do. I'm willing to do whatever it takes until it's time to do whatever it takes and you're like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. Bro, let me tell you something. If you know you all you got, you can't really do nothing else but move forward or stay where you at, you got to be willing to do whatever it takes to get out that rut, to get it out the mud. Sacrifice, and for real, for real, sacrifice is just really you getting over your emotions because you're comfortable. Stop playing, man. Do whatever it takes to get out and get on. It's the only way, bro.